A picture says a thousand words. A picture combined with text is even more powerful. In this lesson, we'll explore how to design with words and images to create powerful messages. The relationship between text and image can change a message. When combining them, the overall design needs to be greater than the sum of its parts. Think about it as a message communicated four ways. What the text says, what the font implies, what the image is communicating, and how they're compiled. Together, they send an overall message to the audience. For instance, imagine we were designing a book cover for a novel called The Collector. If we set the text in a light classic serif font, you might imagine that the book is about someone who collects antiques. We might guess it's a romance if we only saw the font on the cover. What if we change the font to a bold futuristic sans serif? Without seeing anything else, what would you expect the book to be about now? It's probably not about a romantic antique collector, is it? And all we've changed is the font. By adding an image, we add another communication point don't just copy exactly what the text and font are saying. That's boring and repetitive. Add an image that will spark intrigue and ignite the audience's curiosity. What about if we put a lock on the cover? Suddenly, we have a murder mystery just by adding one image. What other images could we add that would imply very different outcomes? Composition refers to the arrangement of elements in a design, the space between them and the ways they interact. Simple rearrangement allows different messages to evolve. Always consider what's the message you want to send and what's the most powerful way to convey it. Let's look at some design techniques to help. Hierarchy is about designing the composition to visually signal the importance of elements. So, make more important elements bigger and bolder than less important elements, which might be smaller and fainter. Scale is often used to communicate hierarchy by drawing attention toward and away from certain elements, thus signifying their importance to the communication. Look at these examples and where the importance is being placed. Balance is important in many regards and combining text and image is no exception. First, we have symmetrical balance. This balances text and image by reflecting elements from left to right or top to bottom, allowing you to draw attention to all areas equally. A more common type is asymmetrical balance, creating balance without symmetry. Think of each element as having a weight to it. Smaller objects weigh less than larger objects and heavily textured elements weigh more than flatly colored elements. Balance these weighted elements out until you reach equilibrium. Don't think of it as empty space. This implies that it should be full of something, that it's not doing its job, but this is not the case. White space, when used strategically, can help boost your design's clarity by balancing out the more complicated parts of your composition with space, helping your design to breathe. Ask yourself if each element of your design is 100% necessary. Do you need all of that text? Do you need three different images? By subtracting the unnecessary bits and pieces of your design, you can create a more direct design that makes the most of white space. Contrast is an incredibly useful tool for both highlighting and hiding certain elements. By upping the contrast or using a high contrast feature color, you can help text stand out and draw attention. Likewise, by lowering the contrast, you can make text fade into the image. Contrast is great when you want to place text over an image, especially when the image is busy and has a lot going on. Look at how these examples work, where the text remains readable despite the background image. Frames and shapes create distinction between text and image, useful to make the text more readable if contrast isn't enough. In this example, a transparent rectangle enables the white text to be more readable, while the image is still visible below. It's an easy and effective way to provide separation between the image and text. There are a lot of things to consider when putting together text and image. At first, it might take you some effort and time, moving things around, resizing elements and then moving them around again. But keep it at that. 
Combine text and image, send a powerful message. 